Okay, so we're going to program a no-weather radio, and this is going to alert you during active severe weather. This is a Midland no-weather radio, the type that I like to use, and it has the SAME digital weather, the coding type. So you can program these county by county. That's important for severe weather. So if you have a, another type of weather radio, you don't get alerts for multiple counties. Unless you want specific counties, you can use this one right here, and it's awesome. It's programmable. Okay, quick notes on the side. There's an on-off switch. It needs to be turned on, otherwise you're not going to get the actual alerts when the warnings are issued. So make sure that is turned on. On the front side of this, you'll see a power port and then external antenna options. Most important for this case is the power. We want this thing plugged in at all times. There are battery backup options. Remove the panel on the back. This takes AA batteries, takes three of them. Only use those for an emergency. Do not rely on that all the time. That is basically for if you lose power, you can um, have a way to still receive warnings for a temporary amount of time. So we're gonna plug this into our power port on the back and you'll see this come on. Uh, one thing I wanna mention too, if you don't have batteries in here and you unplug it or if you're moving this and this lose power totally, it will save your information. So when you program this thing, it will forever be saved on there. So you don't have to reprogram it. The only thing you have to reprogram is the clock itself. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not necessarily worried about a clock. That's not important for my case, but you know, if you rely on that clock, I'll show you quickly how to change that. So if you go over here to the menu and you see set time, you'll wanna press select. Okay, there's your clock and you see the time blinking. Use your up or down arrows, we'll use the down arrow. And this is a 24 hour clock, so you see the PM there. Or right, if you wanna go back to AM, there you go, press up or down. Okay, let's say it is 6.05 a.m. So let's go to 6, move your right arrow over twice to get to the single digit side, and then go up to 5. Okay, thank you. And then press Select and press Menu, and you'll see where it says Saving. So you're good to go there. So that information is saved. Now I will say this, once you unplug it, and if your battery's dying on you, you're going to have to reset the clock. But that is the only thing you have to reset. So let's get our alerts going. So if you press menu, okay, go down. Don't worry about the alarm, don't worry about the language, but you want to set location. Press select, okay. On mine it says multiple, the first display, but here are your options. If you press the down button or up button, you have any, which will alert every county within your reachable range of your signal. So that'll be a good many counties around you. I don't really want to do that. Uh, if you want to do single counties, just one county individually, that's an option. If you want to do multiple counties, like maybe the surrounding counties, that's a good option too. So let's go to single. This one's easy. Go to uh, select. And in mine, Bibb County is already saved. This may say empty. It might say zero, 01 empty. It may have a county already in there. So we want to press select again. First thing pops up, typically it's going to be US. Press select. Alabama, that's a state. If you want another state or if another state is to display, just use your up or down arrow and it will go through all the states in the country. We want to do Alabama, press select again, and then you have your county and it's going to be in alphabetical order. So this one is Otago. Press your down button to get to the county. Let's go to, just do Bibb County. Okay, press select, press menu, saving that information and you are done if that's what you want to do for single. Let's do multiple, just show you how it works. So go back to menu, go to set location, press selection. Let's change that to multiple. Press select, and again, I was using my up and down arrows to go to that. So it starts with channel one, which is Bibb County. We, already, we just saved that. Um, let's do a channel two. So all you have to do is press your up button, okay? And that goes to channel two. This may say 02 empty, it doesn't really matter, uh, just depends on what's in there. So we're on channel two, so press select. Okay, USA is gonna pop up, press select again. Uh, same thing, just like we did with a the single, there's your state, press select. And let's go to, do Chilton County. So go down, there's Chilton right there. Press select, okay. And then it's going to automatically go to channel three. Now, if you're done, go ahead and press menu, and it's going to save that uh, save that information. Press menu twice. Sometimes you press it once, sometimes twice. Um, but let's do another one, just just to show you how we do it. Go back to menu, press the down button, 
set location, select, multiple. Okay, so our last stop was channel three, which I've already programmed, so it says Chambers County, but let's reset it, so let's press select. There's USA, we want USA, press select again. There's Alabama, that's the right state, so we don't have to toggle up or down. Press select. Let's do Washington County, why not? Okay, you're good there, press select. Okay, now it's good to go to channel four. If you don't want a channel four, if you don't want another one, then go ahead and press menu twice, and it's gonna save that information. Now, if you wanna delete one, let's say, you, oops, I don't mean to do Washington County, let's take that one out, we don't wanna do that. So go to menu, set location, select. There's multiple, select again. So let's go to channel three, which is Washington. When you're on that, press your side button here, like that, your right side, and you'll see these numbers pop up. You see that? It's like 001129. So go to each one of these. See where that one's flashing? That one's on zero. Let's turn all of these to zero. And just like setting your clock, use your right arrow to where that one flashes. Then your down arrow to zero. Go to your right, down, go your right again, down. Oh, go to your right again. Since that one's not, I'm going to press up and it'll go to zero. When you're done, press select and menu twice, and you're good. One more thing we have to do, and that's it. Uh, menu, go down, set channel. So press selection, and you hear the no weather radio repeater forecast. Let's say, let's select that again. Let's go up or down. You're changing your frequency now. All right, so let's say you pull yours up and it sounds like that. That's no good. We don't want that. So go down till you find a channel to where you can hear that. You hear that? When you're done, you're good to go. Press select, menu, saving information, you're good to go. If you want to turn the volume up or down, here's those options for that to, so it's louder. Uh, if you press the weather snooze button, you will hear that no weather radio repeater forecast. Then you turn that off. Whenever you get an alert, by the way, uh, just press weather snooze and it will go to the actual warning. Um, it will eventually go to the warning, but if you go ahead and press that, it will go to it quickly. Uh, so just a way to do that. But put this in your house close to a window. Make sure this antenna is fully up so you get a good signal. Um, and on the back of this thing, that was that's kind of the reason for the external antenna like if you live in an area that's not close to no weather radio transmitter site um, you may want an extra antenna I, we really don't have that problem here but that's an option for you so that is how you program a NOAA weather radio everything you need to know is hopefully right here